AIDS is caused by the virus, the virus that we call HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. So one has to differentiate between the virus, that is the HIV, and the disease, that is AIDS. It is as for COVID-19, you have the disease, which is COVID-19, and you have the virus, SARS-CoV-2, that is responsible for the disease. So HIV will enter into the body, it will replicate inside the body, but for many years there will be no clinical symptoms. But in the same time, HIV is already damaging the immune system. There will be a reduction in certain cells of the in the blood, for example, in particular of the cells that we call the C4T cells. And overall, over the years, the immune system will be more and more damaged to a certain level. When these lymphocytes go below a certain level, then AIDS will start. AIDS is, the, is characterized, for example, by the development of opportunistic infections. Why do we call them opportunistic? It's infections that normally the immune system can handle, but when you have AIDS, you, the immune system is damaged in such a way that it cannot handle easy infections anymore, and, and the people living with HIV in the absence of treatment can then develop uh, many symptoms, and including diarrhea or pulmonary infection, and in absence of treatment develop AIDS and there's a risk of death. And unfortunately, HIV is causing the death of more than 90% of people living with HIV in the absence of treatment. It's a very dangerous virus. And so it's very important to get treated as soon as possible. So in the absence of treatment, the symptoms will arrive. It is very variable between the individuals. Most of the individuals will develop AIDS in the absence of treatment, but the time when the, when the symptoms arrive is very variable. So in the median time, it will, the symptoms will arrive seven years after infection. But in some individuals, it can be two or three years after the infection, and in others, 15 years after, they still don't have a clinical symptoms. These symptoms are very non-specific. It can be a diarrhea, it can be a pulmonary infection, it can be an infection in the mouth, so it can be multiple infections. The doctor will not necessarily think that it could be due to HIV. It's very important to know that it could be HIV and to, to do a test. There are three modes of transmission. There's a sexual transmission, the transmission by the blood, and the mother-to-child transmission. The sexual transmission is very frequent. It happens when one is not protected. The transmission by blood is uh, when using contaminated syringes. And the transmission from the mother to the child can happen either during pregnancy, in particular during the last three months of the pregnancy, or during birth, or through the milk. And unfortunately, this is a very efficient uh, way of transmission. So in absence of treatment, the transmission rate from the mother to the child is between 20 and 30 percent. But thanks to the treatment, which is very efficient, the transmission rate can be reduced below to 1 percent. Interestingly, the treatment really reduces also the transmission. So if a people living with HIV is under treatment and the virus is non-detectable anymore since at least six months, there is no possible transmission to other individuals. So really, treatment inhibits the transmission. And there's no other way of transmission. You cannot get HIV when going to a public toilet or in a train or in swimming pools. You cannot contract HIV there. And also the HIV is not transmitted by other animals such as mosquitoes. Mosquitoes can transmit Zika virus, for example, but cannot transmit HIV. So if an individual is infected, they develop antibodies and this is measured by the HIV test. It is very important to get tested as soon as possible because the virus will start immediately to damage the immune system. So it's important to block it as soon as possible. And this can only be done if you're diagnosed and then once you're diagnosed, one can uh, benefit from the treatment. The treatment is also very important to inhibit the transmission. For this reason, you have to get diagnosed. Unfortunately, most of the diagnoses of HIV today are only several years after infection. This is way too late. 
So the treatment against HIV are normally a combination of three drugs that block the multiplication of the virus in the bodies at three different levels. That's why they are so efficient. By blocking the replication of the virus, the virus will become undetectable in the blood. And it can also don't do any damage anymore to the immune system. So that's why the treatment blocks the development of AIDS. So thanks to the treatment, people don't die of AIDS anymore in most of the cases. So treatment is very efficient to inhibit the disease, to inhibit AIDS. However, the treatment cannot eliminate the cells that are already in the body. The virus will persist and will be hidden in reservoirs. And that is why it's very important to continue the treatment because if one stops the treatment, the virus will rebound from the blood in very rapidly in a few weeks and, and the virus can then be transmitted again. So uh, one should never stop the treatment. However, it has been known that in those people who stop the treatment, while more than 90% the virus will rebound, in about 5 to 10%, the virus will not rebound. And in these individuals, they don't need treatment anymore and we call them people in remission. This is very rare and it's mostly seen in individuals who started the treatment early on, a couple of weeks only after their first infection. So that is another sign why treatment as soon as possible is very important. So there are today multiple ways of preventing HIV, luckily. There's the condom that is the most uh, known probably. There's also now a female condom that can be used and this can be purchased in the pharmacy. There are also other ways that have been developed to prevent HIV infection, for example the PrEP. The PrEP consists in a drug that is also used for treatment and that can be used uh, before uh, sexual intercourse, for example, and it inhibits the infection. One can also use the treatment post-exposure, uh, best between four hours after uh, risky behavior, maximum 48 hours after uh, risky behavior to, in order to inhibit the infection. So overall, there are multiple ways now to prevent the infection. One needs to get to know them. It's very important and in order to protect and not get infected by HIV.